Hi. Uh, today I'm going to draw an Islamic geometric pattern from Eric Brogue's book, Islamic Geometric Patterns. The pattern I'm drawing today is the Huan Tattoon Complex. I have the design on screen and we're going to turn that into this pattern here. Okay, so let's get on and do that. So again, I'm going to start with an artboard that is 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. And I've already got a grid showing, so I'm just going to make sure snap to grid is on. And again, I'm just going to draw a square that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. And actually, let's change the color of that, or let's remove the fill and just make the stroke a little bit thicker, so make that 0.5 thick. So I'm going to take the circle tool next, deselect the square, and draw a circle that's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels on top of the square. And then we're going to draw some lines to divide the square and the circle. That's our first line. I'm going to copy and paste that. And rotate it. 90 degrees. So you're going to copy and paste these lines, rotate them 45 degrees, and lock the aspect ratio and just make them 1200 by 1200 pixels. Okay, so the next lines we're going to draw, or before we draw the next lines, I'm going to take snap to grid off. Make sure snap to object geometry is on. I'm going to hide the grid. And our next line is going to come from this intersection point here to this intersection point here. And again, I'm going to extend that out to the edge of the artboard on both sides. And I'm going to draw the line again on the other side of the canvas and try and get that green line to show. And again, extend that. Just gonna have a quick look at this line and its positioning just to make sure. Yeah, that's zero on the y-axis that is zero on the y-axis if i grab them together hopefully it will be 1200 pixels wide which is good uh, what i'm going to do now is instead of draw those again i'm going to copy and paste them uh, flip them vertically drag them to the bottom snap them into place Just make sure, yeah, they're sitting on, yeah, on the grid well. So now I'm going to select the last four lines that we've created. That's the two lines we drew and the two lines that we've copy and pasted. I'm going to copy and paste them and rotate them 90 degrees. And then the next two lines that we're going to draw are from this point here down to this point here. Try and get some more points to highlight. cool okay and again extend this line to the top of the artboard and to the bottom yeah that's cool and draw that line again but on the opposite side of the 
design and extend that again so that it's 1200 pixels tall so I'm going to grab that those two lines that we've just drawn copy and paste them and I'm going to flip them horizontally no nope. and I'm going to flip them vertically okay so take those and the lines we've drawn uh, before copy and paste them and then rotate them so the next construction lines that we draw go from this point here down to this point here and let's extend that so that's one so there's going to be two lines that we copy and paste and from this point here to this point here okay and again let's extend that So I'm going to take those two lines that we've just drawn, make sure we grab the correct lines. So these are going to be, if we go from the center, there'll be the diagonal, well, the kind of, let's say, the line, these two lines, basically. So I'm going to copy and paste them. And I'm going to flip them horizontally. And then we're going to take the last four lines um, that we've drawn, the two that we've copy and pasted, um, and the two that we copy and pasted from, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. Just make sure they're all the right size, which they look like they are. Copy and paste and rotate them. Uh, 90 degrees yeah so those are all our construction lines as we've done in the previous videos i'm going to group all those lines and lock the layer we select everything and i'm going to choose i'm going to select a red stroke and make that two points thick and we're going to draw our um, design lines now so the first design line starts at this point here along this line um, yeah so so along this line and if you let it snap to the edge of the artboard and along that line and then bring it in to this point here and from that point there if you bring it down to this point here so the way I like to kind of find that is if you can see you've got an octagon within a sort of square that's at an angle you're selecting basically the the corner of the square that's at an angle and then we're going to bring that down to this line just before the circle and take that back up along this line to the edge of the artboard and we're going to just take that up a little bit and close the line off against the first um, node that we created so i'm going to hit escape and then come down to the same line 
uh, on the opposite side. So I'm going to start, where are we? I'm going to start here. Come up to this point here. Come down to the corner of the square. Come to this point here just before the circle. Follow this line to the edge of the artboard. Then come down to the first node we drew and close that shape off. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, just have a quick look at these shapes to make sure they're sitting um, at the edge of the artboard. Each of them are sitting at the edge of the artboard. Select both the shapes, just quickly make sure we've got that selected in the middle. Copy and paste them and then flip them uh, vertically to begin with. Then I'm going to select all those shapes, copy and paste, and rotate them uh, by 90 degrees. And those are all the shapes we need uh, for this pattern. I'm going to hide, oh, I'm going to hide the construction lines, show the grid, and snap to grid. Again, just take the square tool, draw a square that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, and color everything in in black as we normally do. Let's hide the red lines again and hit divide. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete some of these extra shapes. All the shapes around the sides. Just gonna have a quick look at some of the shapes here. It looks like we do have a few random lines. Delete that one. This shape has got a bit of a random line, so I'm going to take the node tool and just delete that. This shape looks like it's got one as well. I'm going to delete that. And what have we got here? Just a random circle. Let's delete that too. Okay, those are all our but yeah, that's the design. Let's go ahead and colour that in. I've selected everything. Can you get rid of the line? Yeah, so this um this design reminded me, well, it was giving me sort of pop art vibes. So I went for a bit of a sort of pop art palette when colour colouring this in. Um yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh. So that's the middle. What did I do? I went with red. Yeah. So I took the kind of arrow looking shapes. Um, that's weird. Let's uh Let's just go in and sort of clean that up a bit first. What's happened there? What is this shape? Okay, so a couple of the shapes haven't cut as I'd like them to. Again, that's okay because we can Just copy and paste some of these other shapes. So I'm going to take this one, copy and paste it, and flip it, 
and stick that in there. And copy paste that shape, flip that vertically, and stick that in there. Let's just select everything. Yeah, it's all the same size. Okay, uh, right, let's delete the fill, uh, sorry, the stroke. Let's grab all these shapes. And we're going to make this red. Yeah. So it was 20 cyan, 100 magenta, and 100 yellow. And yeah, so these shapes here. Look at that. 100 cyan, 20 magenta, and 50 yellow. And the shapes on the outside were 20 magenta and 100 yellow. Yeah, so that's the shape. Um, I mean, it's quite interesting. I mean, I'd be quite kind of keen to uh, leave the shape as that but for the design uh, for the pattern I'm going to give it a border it does look a little bit nicer with the border uh, so let's get that black outline that's four points thick yeah and that's the uh, that's the finished design I actually sort of um, used like a, a sort of corner edge a sharp edge uh, join so yeah just to kind of make it a little bit give it that sort of I don't know pop art clean cut look um, okay so let's turn this into a pattern as we've done with the other designs and patterns so let's create our 2000 by 3000 pixel artboard and then stick that in the corner, paste that in the corner, or paste that and drag it into the corner. Do the same again. This time we're going to add the shapes before I copy and paste it. Copy and paste that. Bring it down. Yeah. And let's add these shapes together. it again and I'm going to cheat a little bit I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut I'm going to delete all these shapes just because it saves a little bit of time I delete all these select all these and control drag them out Yep, and that's our final design. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, if you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comment section. Um, yeah, thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.